subscribe to my channel travel with me by hitting the subscribe button at the bottom of this video. After having a wonderful trip at Hampi, we are leaving Hospet for a day trip to visit various temples in the Ai Hoe village around 150 km from Hospet. Ai Hoe is a village which is having a mythological connection with Parshuram, the son of Jamadagni. It is said that Parshuram had killed all Kshatriyas and then came to the river Malaprabha where he washed his axe full of blood. Due to that, the river water turned red. On seeing this, villagers shouted, Aya Aya Hoi, and thus the name Ai Hoi. Ai Hoi was the Chalukyan regional capital between 4th and 6th centuries. In this region, one can see the Hindu architecture in its embryonic stage. From the earliest simple shrines, famous as the cradle of architecture. Here, there are around 100 temples that are scattered around the village. First, we are stopping to see the Durga temple. This is dedicated to Surya or Sun God. This temple has a notable semicircular apsem, elegated plinth and a gallery that encircles the sanctum. This has fascinating carvings in its interior. Here is Chamunda Devi trampling the buffalo demon. Yes, this is Narsiha, the half-man, half-lion god. I can see innumerable carvings. Some are partially damaged in war periods. Near the Durga temple is this Ladkhan temple. It is said that horse sacrifice used to take place in this area. Later it became a Shaiva temple, bearing the symbol of Surya or Sun at its frontal area. Next is the Gaudar Guri temple which is considered to be one of the oldest temple. This temple has Garur at the lintel. Now let's see what's the speciality of this Surya Narayan Guri temple. It's completely ruined. It has the idol of sun god. There are several similar temples in this premise. In the same premises, there is also an archaeological museum worth watching. However, photography is not allowed inside. After traveling for a few more kilometers, we have reached a huge premise of the Pattadakal temple. Pattadakal is a town in the Indian state of Karnatak famous for the monuments that are the culmination of earliest experiments in Vesara style of Hindu temple architecture. This world heritage site has the 10 major temples of the Chalukyan architecture. Look at this huge premise. This one's the Kada Siddheshwar temple. It's a Nagara style temple. It has a square sanctuary. A swastik outside and it has a nice shivling inside. On its shikhar is the carving of Shiv Parvati. Next is the Galagantha temple. It's an east facing one. I like this shape. Again, a Nagara style one. Again, mythical animals carved. Let's take a look around. 
Next is the Sangameshwar temple and look at this molded base it has several mythological animals you know what in spite of such beautiful carvings people visiting this place are moving back halfway i think they are tired to walk also it's quite hot here right now next i am going to see the malikarjun temple the plinth of this temple has a number of elephants and animal carvings other decorative carvings are occupying its pillars possibly yakshas and kinnars are depicted here some of them seem to be ramayana stories in carved form this scene is of the samudra manthan that's when the gods and demons churn the oceans to bring out the amrut there are several carvings depicting panchatantra stories wonderful corridors aren't they next i'm taking you to the virupaksh temple oh what a huge nandi here this temple is having ongoing worship rituals till date amazing carvings again Okay now walking all the way we are hungry and we have stopped next to this pattada kal premise for a quick lunch this lady served us a fresh meal Okay people now we are going ahead to our final destination for the day that is the badami caves i am waiting to see those Hey look at this fresh corn spread out on the roads to dry Remember your popcorn comes from these sources. Okay, we have arrived in Badami. And in the parking area, we are welcomed by this friend taking a nice bite on the marigold flowers. Another one is sneaking in the bus in the hope of a bite. on the snacks of passengers we took a ticket and now we are walking towards the caves we need to climb steps and at different heights there are four caves here with carvings this first cave is dedicated to lord shiv here is shiv parvati and behind them is the kal bhairav the god of death The ceilings and pillars of the cave are also decorated. Here again is Shiv and Parvati riding the Nandi. The next cave after a short climb is the one dedicated to Lord Vishnu. This pose is of Vaman Tri Vikram Ganas and dwarfs are carved This is the Vaman avatar of Lord Vishnu A few steps up and here comes the cave 3 This is the largest cave and is again dedicated to Lord Vishnu. Different forms of Vishnu are seen here. Some are really huge. Lovely view of these corridors. On the ceilings too there are carvings and these are avatars of Lord Vishnu in a circular fashion. A top view of the Badami village can be seen from here. 
As I am on my way to the fourth cave, the monkey is checking out my bag as if scanning it with its eyes to find out and its area of interest, of course food. But it seems to be disheartened and so has gone away. The fourth cave is dedicated to giants. It has Mahavir sculptures. Some depict Nirvana. Look at these minute carvings. On our descent towards the parking, I just took a look at the color layered rocks. Aren't they beautiful? A whole day spent in Aihole, Pattadakal and Badami. It was great. Now on our way back to Hospet, we took a look at the sunset view of the Tungabhadra river. Tomorrow onwards, we shall travel to Daroji Bear Sanctuary. I am just waiting to be there with the bear. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and travel with me to the next destination, Daroji Bear Sanctuary.